Hello everybody and welcome to Nascentious Place, Hearts of Fire and 4 as Brazil with a now almost fully mechanized force. We are still continuing with our mechanization efforts. Well the war in Europe is joining Ooh! East Germany joined the common turn as well. Excellent! More people to join us. And the Soviet Union is making good advances over here. And I think they are making some advances here as well in this pocket. We can see they still have some troops in reserve at least. Well, we have discovered a nuclear reactor. Exciting. I'm gonna research a little bit ahead of time. Oh, that's not what I thought it was be. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. That's a lot longer than I thought. I thought it said 300. Never mind. We're gonna go with construction. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it says time to research 300 days. But then when we do it, it goes to 600. So some bonuses are not properly applied over there, but we're not going to go for 600 days of research. That's a little bit too much for me. Let's go with some close air support effort. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, close air support is fine. And we should upgrade our t t strategic bombers, so we will have some awesome strategic bombers that can deliver our nuclear payload wherever we want. And with that in mind, let's start building some nuclear reactors. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 nuclear reactors. That's gonna take us a long time to build. But hey, I mean, we have time. It's not like we're in a war. The modern tank, our agile multi-purpose tanks were able to take on many roles as scout support and even frontline tanks. Uh, they are pretty good, especially if you compare them with the medium tank 3. They are literally better at everything, including production cost, which is double. Um, but it's a little bit too much ahead of time for me that I won't really research them yet. Can research some specialized or self propelled artillery. And I do want that. So, how does the armor division look like? Just some light tanks at the moment. Well, we're gonna work on that a little bit more. And then hopefully, soon we will be done with producing all the mechanized equipment and we will start focusing just on building. A large tank base for our nation and uh, hopefully that will be enough so we're gonna have some medium tanks and some self propelled artillery I'm gonna make variants out of both of them and stack them together in a group and see what we get out of that did we research no we did not we, I want the maintenance company for that group as well because these tanks will suffer from some problems with reliability and I don't want that that much. I want them to be the best they could ever be and uh, no reliability problems, please. But I'm gonna wait with producing stuff like that. Well, we can switch over pretty much immediately. We have enough supply for everything else. So we're gonna remove all of that except for the mechanized for now. And just switch over to uh, tank production. We have some bonuses here still to be applied. I'm gonna go with some experimental rockets. Well, you can go for the uh, maintenance companies. All right, so now we have two tanks, uh, tank designs. I'm gonna switch off all the equipment for the naval dockyard i'm gonna cancel these production lines it might be a bit harsh but we don't need them at the moment and i just want to focus everything on building better tanks now we have the medium self-propelled artillery and a medium tank if we take a look at the medium self-propelled artillery uh let's do that in a research screen that will be a little bit easier to see then all right 
So we have this and this. This is the medium tank. This is the medium self propelled artillery. And the hardness of the medium uh, self propelled artillery is of course lower. The defensive is a lot higher. And the soft attack is insanely higher. And that's why we want to have it in here. We're going to have the me medium tanks pretty much there for taking on with armor targets and stuff like that. They're going to do the hard attack. Well, the self-propelled artillery is going to do the soft attack against unarmored units. And they are really strong. We can also go for the self-propelled self uh, tank destroyer. Or just tank destroyer. Which has an even higher arm, uh, hard armor and higher piercing number. But I don't think that is necessary. So we're just going to focus on these two tanks. And now we can create a variant out of it as well. We have 455 experience points and we can assign like whatever we want. You can see if we want to make 555 five, five out of everything, then we need a lot of experience. So let's just remove that for now. Um, so what we want, we can get better armor, but I don't think that's what we need. I think what we mainly need is a better artillery armament. Makes it better doing what uh, it is meant to do. And uh, we want to see what we can do with this one as well. Probably go for the main gun as well. What we also want to do is make sure that the max speed is around the same for both of them as well. We can drop it to 9.5. That's absolutely fine. And if we up our reliability. To like f maybe 3. That's still an increase in reliability. So do we want to increase our armor as well? It will increase our armor, decrease our maximum speed some more. But I think that's actually quite okay. I'm gonna go with this variant. 531. Have a maximum speed of 9.4. Save that. And we're going to make a variant of this one as well. And this is the max speed 9.4 once again. We're going to save that as well. Oh, we're going to produce the Mark 1. And the self propelled artillery. And what do we need more of? Probably the Mark 1 for the tank. And let's get some more out of that. And let's produce some more of that. Alright. So now we need a lot of extra resources. Uh, but we also need less, I think, of other things maybe. We have some rubber surplus, so we're going to scale down on that. We have some chromium surplus, but we're not importing anything of that. We are importing some aluminium, which we don't need anymore. But we need some oil. Lots of it, actually. Let's get maximum oil from them. Maximum oil from them. Uh, let's see how much we are in that then. Quite a lot still. We don't have that money factories to give away anymore though. We can do... Well, we can't at the moment. I'm gonna leave it at this for now. I'm gonna remove these factories. Because we don't really need that much more. I'm just going to keep producing it like this. A little bit less efficient. But efficiency will build up at least. And we will get more tanks out of it. But right now we're no, we don't need them yet anyway. Also going to do is put all these guys on exercise. For some extra army experience. We're, gain, we're getting less from, this, from them than we should. Which is always a bad sign.
So we gain some extra army experience out of it and it says we have missing some production of equipment. That is absolutely true, but um, in the meantime we are still gaining, uh, we still have more than enough in supply to see us through this short dry spell of uh, equipment shortage. Eventually we're gonna edit this template to make it armored battalion, uh, medium tanks. Probably something like this, and then add another army battalion of medium tanks. It's gonna be something around this size. And then add some uh, self-propelled artillery to it as well. Some other brigades, so we need quite a lot of army experience. Right now we're gaining a lot of it as well. So, uh, no problem there. In the meantime we are just producing our uh, tanks already. All you from the Soviets. Well, we cut back down on that a little bit as well. Better strategic bombers, excellent. Keep researching that. And is this the best way to do it? Like getting your tank production up and running? No, definitely not. But we don't really have to do anything right now anymore. Um, I didn't achieve my goal of conquering the whole of South America and Central America, but at least we're having a really, really interesting time here. Hmm, I'm not on what we should build now. Or research is the better term. We are still doing that. We have pretty much everything over here already going. Could we'll get some rocket artillery. Let's just research rocket engine. And that bonus was misapplied as well. Yeah, it's really strange why it is being misapplied. Get some close air support effort. Let's go for the naval, uh, the NAV effort, naval air bombers, I guess. Oh, we're already at ten army experience. Poland has capitulated. That's really good news for the Soviet Union. Means they can go on a rapid advance. Well, this pocket is still a problematic place. Keep getting caught in my oil. It's not good, but at least we have 50 factories now building this. 26th of October, the first one will be done. Maybe we're overdoing it a little bit with nuclear reactors, but we're in the business now of overdoing it because we don't have a water fight. We're just preparing for the future war with America. Let's get some close air support agility going. And right now we are producing quite a lot of medium tanks. The motorized shortage is uh, coming down as well. But of course we are now losing some of the motorized equipment as well due to uh, training, which is fine. Um, just gaining more experience right now is more important. Yeah, they're making really nice advances here. Can't see everything that's happening though, but this is worrying me a bit. He is being pushed back there quite a lot as well. I really hope he will be fine. If we're really worried we could send some extra uh, extra units ourselves. Yeah, he's being he's missing some equipment. Yeah, that's fine. We don't mind that at all right now. The tanks, that's what we need. And we need so much oil. 
might actually need to start building some synthetic oil plants in our uh, provinces. Which is definitely not a bad thing to do. But just something I haven't been b bothering with at the moment. Because we had so much going on for us already. We don't really have the pr technology for it yet either. So maybe we should get it. Because it's both oil and rubber. Also, excavations might be really interesting for us. We are producing a lot of the things that we need as well. Like steel and tungsten. And rubber. Well, we actually have a surplus of rubber. So yeah, sure. Let's uh, increase our excavation. Maybe gain some extra factories out of that as well. We're gaining at the moment 7 from trade. With our production increase, there will be more of the stuff that we produce uh, on the trade market as well. And with that, um, yeah, things should be fine. We need an average of 163 mechanized equipment per day. So we have a production deficit, but that's mainly because we have a deficit already from the reinforcements in the beginning. Uh, but you can see that the shortage is still ticking down. Slowly. But it is ticking down at least. And we're starting to gain more naval, uh, more army experience. Alright, there's not much for us to go for anymore. Let's go with a cruiser ep effort first. So in uh, 210 days from now, uh, we are done with our focuses. Which will mean we will be gaining a lot more political power. Because right now we're spending one um, political power point every time on focuses. And that will not be necessary anymore. In the meantime, let's see how communist the United States is becoming. It's happening. Slow. Really slow. But it is happening. And most likely, the further we go with it, the more their resistance will uh, grow as well. Now, come on, Soviet Union. You need to push back on this. This is where the real battle is. Well, actually, pushing these guys out is also quite important. And you're making some advances here as well. With whom are you at war? not really easy to see but this is part of the allies are you in the war though yeah you are all right good to know maintenance companies are done let's increase the attack well, it looks like they're being pushed back here again a little bit but it's not that good for the Soviet Union in the home ground. Really wish they would do something against that. How many do we have? We have already 500 tanks stocked. Um, it looks like a lot, but it's actually not nearly enough. I want a couple thousands at least. But I'm still happy that this is going down. Every day more gets produced. Alright, let's see if we can make variants already. Uh, we want an armored medium tank. Me oh, that's self battle theory. We need a normal medium tank. Medium tank. Armored medium tank. Medium tank. Yeah, we don't have enough yet. We need at least 40. And then the division will have a lot of soft attack. Quite some heart attack still. Piercing is really strong as well. A max speed of 9.4. Some HP. Not that much. And that might actually be something to worry about. That the HP level is not high enough. For example, these units have 244 HP. So maybe we should add some mechanized... Um, to that division then as well just for getting some extra HP what is the speed of our mechanized forces at the moment uh, 
the mechanized target over here. Mechanized have a speed of 8, so that's a bit sad. Motorized, they have the speed of 12. It's very a bit better. Yeah, we'll see how we'll handle that. Because we need to have, otherwise our divisions will literally just get destroyed. They will be gone. And that's a sad thing. So we need to work on that. And dropping our speed down to 8 kilometers per, per hour is not that bad at least. Hmm, I will think about it at least. You can see here how large our deficit is of oil, steel and tungsten. Uh, it's massive. It's humongously massive. But hey, it happens. We're not getting some... Oh, we're losing so much oil from them. That's so sad. Um, Venezuela, you will support us with some more oil then. Even though you're part of the enemy, you are part of territory that I would grab the moment we go to war, though. Send some more men, Soviet Union, please. I mean, you're doing really well on many fronts here, but this is a really important front as well. And Republican Spain is having some problems as well with France and some invasions. Luckily, we are still golden. But it's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, hopefully, we will finally see this being done. And finally see this being done as well. Come on, Soviet Union. I know you can do it. But that's all going to be in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.